Wonderful! Thought I'd be yapping here for eternity. Blasted wormies only have eyes for the empty ones. Very well! Tie me to your belt and we can get started. No time to lose! How can you breathe? You just do without thinking much about it. It's the same with me in talking! Or worm cultists digging up old bones. Didn't ask if they belonged to anyone, did they? The wormies just started making skeletons. Yes! Pieces of me are all over the place. It's rather disconcerting. I'm probably not the first skeleton you've had to reassemble, and I doubt I'll be the last. But once I'm walking again, we can figure out what the wormies want with the bone orchard. Deal? Ah! Point the view from up here, eh? I'm at the landscape. Don't get any ideas. All right, let's find the rest of me. Try searching the wormy cancer. Knocking some skeletons around until my bits fall out. Efficient little nitwits. Could be part of me in every skeleton here. That was my femur. Wait, no, my femur bends to the left. Carry on. Do use it as a shovel? One. Quickly now! Drop my pieces on the ground and I'll put myself back together! You have no idea how good this feels. To be whole again, and walk with my own two legs. To have legs at all! Next! Oh, you mean the wormies? Can't leave them here. Digging up bones that dig up bones? No idea. That's why we'll need to investigate. Yes, that's the thing for us. Investigations all around. Their biggest dig site is nearby. Hard to miss it, really. Unless you're one to miss a hole in the ground. Charging off like Phil to near blood drunk, eh? Don't expect me to lend a hand. Perhaps a rib will do? Point it in any wormy skeleton and I'll have it fighting at your side. No, it's no trouble. You can thank me later. Onward to the dig site! Dear. Gora, dear, what have they done? What? 
does it look like? They dug up my barrow. What? Why? Wouldn't stop asking about the roots. The roots? Why would they care about the... Oh, no. Told them they were asking for trouble. But did they listen? Went right to the barrow bar. Idiots. Hey, friend. Listen, we have a problem. The Wormies must be here for what's under the barrow bow. With enough of the little skeletons, they'll be able to dig up the big ones. I knew I shouldn't have said anything to that Ethruin fellow. The Wormy leader told him he'd have no use for the big bones in the ground with the barrow bow to keep them sleeping. But if he digs up the barrow bow's roots, he'll kill it. Then he can build giant Wormy skeletons to stomp around. There are others like Gorodir sleeping beneath the barrow bow. If they knew what the Wormies wanted, they'd help. But we can't get there without Spinner Amario's help. And she's not too happy with me. She's up on the ridge overlooking the bone orchard. Maybe I shouldn't go with you. No, that's silly. I'm sure she'll be happy to see me. <laughs> but just to be prudent, I'll let you do the talking. Your Dringoth's friend, right? Hmm. <sighs> Spinner Amariel won't be happy about that. Very bright, good sense of humor. No patience for Dringoth's mischief. Years ago, she'd had enough, so she took him apart and scattered him around the bone orchard. <laughs> I laughed hard enough to shift my barrel. Most of us choose to sleep in our own bones. But Dringoth borrowed those of a long-dead elf. He was always restless, even in life. Dringoth's true bones are gnarled in the roots of the barrow bar. Some say they're the oldest in the orchard. Look out for him, would you? His recklessness tends to wear at the others buried here. Tired. Very tired. <laughs> Much Spinner of Ariel, we need your help. It's an emergency! Dringoth, who put you back together? Are you to blame for these worm cultists? Not at all. Well, not exactly. I'll let my friend fill you in. Why did you let Dringoth talk you into this? Do you know how much trouble he's brought to the Bone Orchard? My apologies. His very presence wears at my manners. What do you need? Yes, 
Their leader, Ethruin, made vague threats about me remaining inside. He's attempting to raise the old bones beneath the Barabo, but there's no way he'll do that before Elden Root sends a patrol. So I'm staying put. Dug up? But that would take weeks. How do they manage? Why? Those old bones are useless to them. The Barabo shields them from necromancy. But if they can dig up the Barabo's roots... Oh no. They plan to turn the old bones into an army! Here. This is Niranon's horn. Head beneath the Barabo and sound the horn before the gate. It's the only way inside, unless you want to help the worm cult with their digging. And don't let Dringoth sneak off with that horn. Come on! We need to get to the Barabow! <laughs> we have a history built upon the bedrock of respect and mutual appreciation. We're just having a bit of a spat, that's all. Thirty or fifty years, I think. Yes, let's say fifty. Uh, give or take a decade. It's my fault, really. I was insufferable. Don't know how she put up with me, to be honest. Taking me apart was the best thing for us both. Not at all. Well, I do wonder how she'd fare buried up to her neck while I sit in a nice warmly lit cave, but it's a passing fancy. <laughs> she used to visit my skull and sing to me, even when we were squabbling. That's true friendship right there. Inside. If we're lucky, they haven't made it to the heart of the barrel bow. the heart of the Barrow Bow. Niranon, enough with the theatrics! You need to let us in! Dringoth, what are you doing here? Who is with you? And why are there intruders in the roots of the Barrow Bow? Dringoth, what have you done? Nothing, I'm trying to help! Once again you bring us suffering. Banishment is too good for you this time. Dringoth, what have you done? What will you make us lose this time, Dringoth? You should have left, Dringoth. Ulfrost will not forgive you again. Why, Dringoth? Why return? Dringoth, you were banished, yet you dare return? Ulfrost, oh, listen to me. We're in danger. Necromancers are trying to kill the Barabow. <laughs> You warn of danger. Dringoth, who leveled nations with his girth. <laughs> Your restlessness trapped us here in the first place. There are a vast number of elf bones in the bone orchard. If we all use them together, we can drive out the invader. Together? Since when have you done anything that wasn't for yourself? Once more you bring danger upon us, then beg for our help to end it. No longer! You'll remain beneath the barrel bow until the world forgets you! We have no quarrel with you, living one. Indeed, we thank you for your part in awakening us. The invaders in the barrel bow must be stopped. Because we must punish him for his transgressions. 
The elf bone shell to which he was banished will no longer suit him. We'll return him to the old skull around which the Barrow Bow first grew. The very skull that surrounds this room. Dringoth's crimes are unforgivable. We once sought a true death in the farthest reaches of the world, but his aimless wanderings led to our imprisonment. Here, we can never die. Perhaps we were too hasty. Very well. Because Dringoth broke his exile only to warn us of so great a threat, we'll allow him to leave us in peace, but only if he aids us in driving out the invaders. Enemies at the inner gate! Come quickly, we'll drive out the worm cult! Protect the Barrow Bow! Shatter the bones they steal from the restful dead! And say I'll miss throwing back wave after wave of wormies and their bony minions. But now I have a chance to see the world, meet new and interesting people. Only now I won't accidentally smash everything in my path. <laughs> Rather embarrassing, that. See the world, I expect. Folks may not take kindly to chattering elf bones, but it's better than stomping everything to jelly, eh? I'm sure I'll see you around. The world's only so big. Bigger now, I expect. Ooh, how exciting! You know, I hadn't thought about it. I usually just pick a direction and start walking. Though sometimes that doesn't work out so well. Take the Sea of Ghosts. Seems like a fun jaunt, yeah? Up north, very north, lots of water. Ice like you wouldn't believe. But the barnacles... Oh, do they chafe. Took me a decade rolling around in desert sands to rid myself of those. <laughs> oh, yes. Loved it. Warm, dry, and the sand feels so good on my bones. Unfortunately, the people there aren't big on walking skeletons. <laughs> Not many are, but there in particular. Hmm. I was on my best behavior, too. They had no need to react like that. When they saw me coming, they took for the hills. The caves... Whatever was available to hide in. By the time I reached a city, it would be completely deserted. Made me terribly lonely. But that was long ago. I should visit, see how things have changed. A heated battle. I haven't felt its like in ages. With luck, the invaders will crawl away from this place and leave us to our slumber. <laughs> 